Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a long time since we did a ROM review. Today, we are going to flash an audio ROM and review it. I've already flashed it, so let's get started. If you want to know how I flash this ROM, uh, I'll leave a thread to the XDA thread down below in the description. Uh, make sure you check it out. Mm -hmm. This ROM is called Atomic OS, and the Android version is 8.1.0. Yes, it's 8.1 uh, with January security patch with this ROM, and you have two options. Uh, to go with the 64 bit or the 32 bit and it's been uh, since two to three weeks i have flashed this rom uh, it is very stable as of now but i think there are few bugs and lags that you might encounter uh, if you are go free to go then you can flash this rom so let's get to the futures list okay so the basic audio features like uh, turning themes to pixel uh, to something other else like dark white gray uh, those things are present by default so you just have to go to settings display and select the ui style and it will change the look of the phone and uh, due to audio you have a uh, rootless substratum support that's a uh, start there uh, only particular themes are supported as of now uh, don't try some other themes and you may encounter boot loop with this rom uh, you have some very basic features like network traffic notification trigger carrier and some cool nav bar features like double tap to sleep long press for torch something like that by default the chop chop won't work there is no camera app on this rom you have to install one manually like uh, some custom cameras like footage bacon etc and there is a torch app called god g torch uh, which controls the flashlight you can't uh, toggle it from system toggles and there are two options uh, yellow color and white color if i have root i think that will this will work on any room so the performance i'd say it's okay it's not great it's not the best it's okay for a beta or your room uh, it is fine the memory usage and the running services are also fine and uh, do notice that if you have a 2 gb ram variant uh, please don't flash the 64 bit version of the room it will use huge ton of memory and uh, you will face a lot of lags and i still have 3 gb ram and i have flashed only 32 bit version because uh, the gps would not work with the 64 bit version by the time you see this video gps would definitely be working so if you have a 3 gb ram variant go with the 64 bit version bad life poor very poor uh, because all the cpu cores are running at max at all times uh, I could not control it. Uh, I don't know why. I tried EX kernel manager and some other kernel managers available uh, to uh, stop the CPU from running at max all times. The phone gets warm all the time. Uh, you will get around 2 hours of screen on time if you use it continuously. Else the phone will die around uh, 6 to 7 hours automatically. Even, even if you have flight mode turned on, the battery will drain by itself. Uh, this is a bug in Oreo because we don't have Oreo sources as of now. So, uh, if you are free to go with bugs, if you do not have a SIM card on your phone, then you are free to use this ROM, whatever. The rest thing is fine. Uh, occurrences, slaughters at random times and huge battery life loss. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please smash the like button for more Oreo ROMs. Thanks for watching.